Hey everybody, it's Miss Dodge. Time to read. I have this book called Unique Monique by Maria Rosaki. All right. At Monique's school, all the children had to wear uniforms. They were brown and blue, and Monique thought they were the ugliest colors and the ugliest clothes she ever seen. Every day, she would tell her mother, I don't want to wear my uniform. Monique wanted to be different. One day after school, Monique found an old trunk in the attic. The first thing she saw when she opened was a huge red hat. She tried it on, then she looked at herself in the mirror. I'm wearing this to school tomorrow, she decided. The next morning, Monique didn't complain about wearing the uniform at all. And when she got to school, everyone noticed her right away. Look what Monique's wearing, called Dinos. It looks like a giant tomato, Manolas shouted. Monique was thrilled. She walked to class with her head held high everyone could see her hat. Monique, what is that thing on your head? asked her teacher when she saw when she saw her. It's a red hat. Isn't it beautiful? Monique answered. Remove that immediately, her teacher demanded, and Monique had to take off her beautiful hat. She didn't get to wear it during, she did get to wear it during recess and on the way home. The next day, everyone at school was wearing a hat. Some were wearing green, some were wearing yellow, some were small, and others were enormous. The teachers were very upset. Everyone, take off your hats, demanded the principal. Hats are not allowed at school. The only one who wasn't upset was Monique. She had found other things in her mother's old trunk. Look at those glasses, said Katrina. The next morning, oh, sorry. Look at those glasses, said Katrina the next morning. They are wild. Those are the coolest glasses I've ever seen, Petros whispered. Monique walked slowly into her classroom wearing the fanciest, shiniest, most beautiful glasses in the world. Then her teacher saw them. Monique, remove those glasses immediately, she demanded. Monique took off her glasses, but the next day, everyone was wearing glasses. Glasses may not be worn by children who don't need them, the principal announced. At home, Monique searched her mother's trunk again. She pulled out clothes, old, old dresses, scarves, and colorful jackets. But she couldn't find anything she, she could wear to school that would cover up her uniform. Then all the, stu then all the students, she, all of a sudden, she felt something 
down at the bottom of the trunk. Something with beads. That could be it. She pulled her hand out slowly, and when she saw what she had found, she was thrilled. The perfect thing to wear for school tomorrow. I have to see. Ooh. The next morning, everyone was waiting for Monique to arrive. Look what Monique is wearing today. Demetria shouted. The other girls loved it. And the next day, all the girls had decorated barrettes and headbands in their hair. Some wore braids, some pulled their hair to the right, some pulled the hair to the left, some to the back, some to the front, and some had pulled it into their eyes. But their teacher decided that the girls should all wear hair neatly out of their eyes and that they should not concern themselves with barrettes and other hair accessories. Monique would not give up. She kept trying to find ways to be different. She started carrying a big bag, fancy bags to school. Then she painted her fingernails. She even wore fancy socks. She tried lots of different things, but all of them were banned by the principal. Then one day Monique went to school looking ordinary. She was wearing her uniform and her hair was neatly combed. She wasn't wearing a hat. She wasn't wearing glasses or carrying a fancy bag. Her teacher was impressed. Well done, Monique. It's wonderful to see you dressed properly without breaking the school rules. Since you look so nice, why don't you come to the front and tell us about the story we read for homework? Monique walked slowly to the front of the class. Monique opened her mouth to speak. Everyone stared. Monique looked very, very different. She had the biggest and most colorful braces anyone could ever see. She smiled the biggest smile as she told the class about the homework. At last, Monique was unique. Unique Monique. Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day.